So what I want to do today is talk about how to play an Oak Trump contract. We have three hands that came up. I've kind of been waiting for a week when I saw three of them that would be fun. Um, and I want to talk about no Trump play. The approach that I take is um, you can find in um, when to bid no Trump and parentheses and how to play it. There are 74 pages of this book devoted to bidding no Trump and the rest uh, on how to play it. And Adam has a great, that's from Bridge Winners Press, it's by Adam Parrish. Great approach to no Trump, and I highly recommend you spend the money and buy this book. What, what the approach amounts to is counting your sure tricks, and then your guaranteed and possible tricks. So there are three types of tricks you're going to get, right? Ones that are off the top, right? Ones that you're almost guaranteed to get, and then ones that you have to work on. Um... By doing this, by analyzing each suit for poten for top, potential, for sure, and potential tricks, you generally find out where you need to get to work at. And as a side effect, you kind of find out where the danger is. Right? So here I have six points. This is not a three-diamond or two-diamond bid. This is a one-no-trump bid. Um, balanced hand, no majors. And your partner raises you. Of course, you're not all that excited about that because you are, of course, not interested in the game. So let's count, and partner has a great hand. Let's count our top tricks. Right? These are tricks you don't have to do any work to get. Ace, king of spades, ace of hearts, that's three. Ace, king, queen of diamonds, right? that's six. So here we are. We were a little worried, but we're already at six tricks, right? and we're only looking for two more. What are for sure tricks? Well, let's look at this diamond hand. Notice the 10, 9, 8, 7, right? to go along with their ace, king, queen. So the only card that's missing is the jack. Now, with this 10, 9, 8, 7, we are guaranteed to get a fourth diamond trick. There's no way you can't get a diamond trick, a fourth diamond trick, unless you just screw it up. right? But the diamond suit also gives us the potential for a fifth trick, right? which is if the jack of diamonds falls, or we can finesse for it, we could get five diamonds, and we got a heart, that's six, and the ace, king of spades gives us eight. And there's our eight tricks. Are there any other potential tricks? Well, sure. You could play the jack of spades here, and if the queen was in west, right, that's a potential trick. Right? It's not a for sure trick by any means, because if the queen is here, you're in trouble, right? Now you, now they will attack the club suit, right? The club suit, you would have noticed if you're counting your possible tricks. Well, if you lead at the king of clubs and the ace is in east, that's a possible trick, right? The problem with that is that if they get, if the ace happens to be here and one of these two hands is long, as long as west can lead back to east or if west has ace, queen, fifth, you're going down, right? So we get into this situation where we can never have a lead going through the king of clubs. East can never be on lead. Right? So on the first trick, if you immediately reach for that jack of spades, you could find yourself in trouble. Because if the queen is here and they figure out to switch to clubs, down you go. Right? So that's a possible trick in clubs, but it's one we're never going to try for, at least until we have our contract made. Um, and we are never going to take a risk on the first trick here and put that up. We have our contract, and you don't, even at match points, don't want to risk your contract. You can risk over tricks to try and make more over tricks, but you don't want to ever waste your, risk your contract. So, king of spades. So, when I looked at these hands, right, it was clear the diamond suit was the one where we had four tricks and maybe five, and it's the one we want to work on. Everything else is stoppers. Everything else in this hand is stoppers, right? So when you have this situation with jack fourth, what you want, I mean, with uh, five versus four, the only danger is jack fourth. You just need to make sure you get on the right side of that. Um, it's hard, uh, generally speaking, the way to do that, especially where you could finesse either way, is play one honor from your two honor hand. And if you do that here, of course, you find out that west was jack fourth. And now there is no difficulty. He's only got jacked second now. And we pick up the whole, 
full diamond suit. So now the question is, do we want to take a shot at our king of clubs now? No, absolutely not. We've got six tricks. We've got two more top tricks, and uh, we just want to play them. Right? We don't want to risk them suddenly running off uh, six tricks and setting us. So take the ace, king of hearts, and now if you want to, you can try for the king of clubs. Ace was offside. Take, be happy about that means that somebody who wasn't as thoughtful as you were didn't uh, get lucky. And um, and that's all the tricks we're going to get, so I'll just tell you. So you can see that there is a kind of a simple way in a lot, in, in many contexts, just top, for sure, potential, should identify in any hand, in no trump hand, where you want to get to work. So why don't we take a look at board six next. This is a really fun hand. Um, and let's apply that same sort of analysis to the play. Top tricks, guaranteed tricks, or for sure tricks if you're a Midwestern like me, and um, potential tricks, possible tricks, to try to come up with a plan. I have a really poor one no trump opener, but it's 15 points, so I, will, I don't think I've ever downgraded out of 15. We get a transfer to spades, and our partner bids four no trump. Now, four no trump here is not key card asking spades. It's a quantitative invite. If you want to make a key card ask in spades after a one no trump opener, you Texas transfer to four spades. So you bid four hearts, then opener will bid four spades, and now your four no trump is key card. Here it is a quantitative ask. Um, Quantitative meaning, partner, do you have something extra about your one no trump hand? And if you do, then uh, please go. Now, obviously, if you have 17 points, that's something extra. So you can go with 17. But beyond that, you need to look carefully at your hand and decide whether your hand has the potential for taking more tricks than it would uh, appear by just looking, saying, hey, I opened one no trump. Let's say you had ace, king, queen, fifth of, of diamonds, right? Good chance you're running the diamonds. That would be a reason to go, even if you only had 15. Or 16. So you're looking for extras. Here, of course, as, we, as I said when I opened, this is it's not a very good 15 pointer, so of course we're going to pass. Now let's start with our top tricks Ace of Spades, Ace King of Hearts for three, three club tricks for six, and the Ace of Diamonds for seven. Now, once you get to doing this analysis, you will, your eyes will go to your long suits, which makes perfect sense in no trump. So going to spades, we can see a guaranteed trick, a for sure trick, right? There is no way that you can lose both the queen and the jack of spades, right? Because there's only one king of spades out there to take it. Right? So you can't lose both. So you're guaranteed another trick in spades. So that's one top trick, one guaranteed trick, and then there's some possible tricks. What are the possible tricks? A finesse for the king, right? A length trick, right? So this suit is very capable of taking four tricks altogether. This is definitely a suit we'll want to work on. Look at the heart suit now. Jack, 10, 9 of hearts, and the 8 of hearts. Right? So while it only has two top tricks, it has a guaranteed third trick. Guaranteed third trick. Um, so we get four spades, three hearts, three clubs, right? We're making our contract, especially with the ace of diamonds. Um, possible trick, also extra trick in hearts too, right? Because there's a finesse for the queen. Um, another two, it's a two-way finesse. Um, it could be taken from either hand, which means we'd have to guess it right, or they would have to lead the suit for us. And then finally in diamonds, we don't have any guaranteed tricks or for sure tricks, but we do have a possible trick in the Queen of Diamonds, a possible trick in the Ten of Diamonds for that matter, but not a hand that we actually want, not a suit we want to work on. If diamonds get led, we're happy. We can, we can make things happen if they lead them, but um, we don't want to open that suit. We want to work on our spades, which is where I'll start. Right. Now notice that when we go to, we figure out the suit we want to work on, and then we get to work on it, right? We don't play top tricks from other suits, right? Um, those, all those are, all, th think of your high cards in the other suits 
as being stoppers and transportation and get to work on the suit that matters. Now here with the King 10 out, um, um, they could be in either hand. I'm gonna start with the nine of spades on the chance it forces. Um, if North only has, has something, has the king but doesn't have anything, that doesn't have the 10, then, then the, there's always a chance that the king falls here. So this is kind of a deep finesse. But the good thing about this deep finesse is when the king wins, now when the situation of having ace, queen, jack is tops, and if North has two, right, if these split, well, we were missing six, so if they split four, two, these three will bring down the rest of the tricks, and now we have four spade tricks. So, diamond comes through. What do I want to do? Again, you know, the king of diamonds could be here, or the jack of diamonds could be here. Um, I'd rather stick in the 10, leaving a potential finesse the other way. And when the king of diamonds comes down, we are happy. We now have two diamond tricks. And uh, so we have one in hand. We have a possible four tricks, depending on if the spades split. That'd be five. We have two diamonds, so that's six. We have seven, eight coming in diamonds, and we still have uh, nine, ten. I think I counted wrong. We should have 11 at that point, right? Do we even need, if the spades come through, we don't even need uh, to worry about the hearts because we took our time, and I believe I just won that with the six of diamonds. Right. So there's a diamond trick and another diamond trick. Um, and what we'll do is try the five of spades. Now these are all top tricks, so we just need this guy to follow, and then we pick up the suit even if it was four two. And does, so now we have three spade tricks, and we can start getting rid of the cards that don't matter. We don't need to worry about the queen of spades. We got the rest of the tricks, because we're gonna, don't need to worry about the heart finesse anymore. We set up the long suit, all right? We have ace king and king queen, that's all of them. It's diamonds, we get the rest. Right, so make a plan based on your analysis of top tricks. Let's look at one more. All right, so we get to the last hand. Now, um, the book again that I recommend you buy um, is uh, by Adam Parrish, and it's uh, when to bid no trump, but this is the key under here and how to play it. Um, this approach is what I've been discussing the prior two hands that I use all the time in No Trump, and I think you should buy the book and work on this. So we get to the last hand. It's the hand, the, the contract everybody says they hate to play. I open one No Trump, it gets passed out. You want to make as many tricks as you can. Right? That's the winner in this, is who can get the most tricks. Now, um, uh, that means doesn't mean take a lot of crazy risks, but it means that if you do your work that we've been discussing, you know, you're going to know what tricks are available. So we've got only two top, top tricks, the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Diamonds. Right? If we look for guaranteed tricks, well, we obviously have one in hearts, right? Because you can't lose the King of Hearts there unless you play it very badly. So two top tricks, a guaranteed heart trick, Jack of Spades, Queen of Spades. Can you think of any way you're not getting one of those tricks? Of course not. You're going to get one of those. So we've got four tricks that are pretty much guaranteed in the, in the book. And then we look at the club suit. Or we'll look at the diamonds first and the clubs. But let's look at the diamonds, right? It's a seven card suit with jack, 10, nine, eight. Right? Seems like it would be fine, but it's a little, when you look at your long suits, you always gotta ask yourself, can I get there? Right? Ace and jack will have to be played first. The queen and the king will not drop under those, which means you can get over there with the ace of spades and play another and maybe clear the suit, but this all depends on, on a defender not letting you get back up there with the jack of spades. So diamonds don't look like a good suit to work on. Um, in addition, you have a much better suit here. This is one card less, right? But with king, queen, jack, 10, missing the nine and the eight, right? This is a, a suit, a hand that has three guarantee tricks um, and another one possible. So there's four tricks possible there in clubs, right? And there are only three more possible in, in diamonds. Um, and it's clear that that's the suit we need to work on. Looking at the lead, the seven, right? If that means there are four higher, Sal should have two. We really don't know, especially since these are the robots, and they don't always routinely play the, their fourth. Uh, we don't know which hand has it, uh, has um, five hearts, if five hearts are indeed out there. 
This King of Hearts is a guaranteed trick, of course, but we don't have to play it immediately. We can find out what's going on. There's one of the two cards that would be higher if the Rule 11 is applying. There's the other one that's higher if the Rule of 11 is applying. applying. I'm going to duck it. See what happens. If he leads another, then, then he's the hand that could have five. But instead he switches. So, right. And now he uh, switches to clubs. And uh, we clear the suit. I don't just need the nine there. And we get a heart lead back and avoid it. So we found a five card heart suit, right? This was five hearts. It was five, three, three, two, with the two that he was holding being the ace queen. So this is all good. Now we can start playing off our clubs. Remember, we started with six of them, and had the jack up there, right? which means there's seven out. Uh, they both followed twice now. They both followed three times, so they're four, three. And someone is going to put down the nine of clubs here. And there we are. So, taking a moment to reflect here, that means that North started with five hearts and four clubs, or a nine. When you're learning how to count cards, and distribution, those nines are wonderful. So, um, he's got four cards left. They're in spades and diamonds, and the sharp suits, the pointed suits, right? So, we win that one. There was a diamond. That's not very helpful to us. There's a heart, right? Remember, he started with five. They were led three times, so he has that's one of his he has one heart remaining. There goes a spade, right? So the spades are now down to five out. Now, here we are at five, and we're guaranteed ace diamonds, ace of spades, and we're also going to get one of these. Um, all of the suits are controlled. There is one heart over here. All I care about on this now is that I really don't want North to be on able to cash his heart. So when he covers this eight of spades, I'll put up the jack, which holds, right? And now he, uh, now I'll play over to my ace of diamonds. And he throws the queen. Now this is, this play to the ace of diamonds is, is great because now I know what the distribution of the hand is. He's not putting the queen of diamonds under the ace if he has another one. So he now has in his hands two spades, and one heart, which means that I can pick up the rest of the suit. Well, I don't need to pick up, I can just pick up one more, actually. Right. Maybe I should have fenced a different way, and then I wouldn't I would have an extra spade up there, and I would have making 10. But I'm certainly happy with this. I was able to figure out the hand, right? And I've just followed the analysis that I started with, which was, you know, work on the clubs, work on the spades. Those were the hand, those were the suits in which I had extra tricks. Um, works out really well here. I make 150, probably get a fairly decent score in most games. All right. So that's how you do it. Um, um, stop fearing no trump and just get a process. Right? Get a process and you'll be fine.